Today we're taking a look at the Numskull one quarter scale Pac-Man arcade unit. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm CJR, and as always, I'm joined by... Kim Riley. And today, we're taking a look at this quarter-scale numbskull... Numbskull! <laughs> Was that like a <laughs> Three Stooges <laughs> reference? <laughs> Is that a Three Stooges? Yeah, okay. <laughs> this numbskull quarter-scale arcade unit. They actually call it Quarter Arcades, which is a perfect name for a fourth-scale um, arcade unit. Uh, as you can see, gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. I will not be getting rid of this packaging. Uh, this is a collector's edition item limited to 10,000 10, 10, units. Yeah. I will leave a link in the description below if you're interested in pre-ordering this. Pre-orders are available now, but the unit comes out in... February 2019. February 2019. Mm -hmm. And then there's also working on three other arcade units that are coming later in 2019. Miss Pac-Man. Galaga and Galaxian. Okay, so check out the link in the description below if you are interested in um, checking out these Numbskull quarter scale arcade units. So, we're gonna quickly look at the packaging here. Really, really nice package here. Really well done. Beautiful, bright colored artwork on the side. Mm. I'm gonna go through some of the um, stats here of this little unit. Mm. Uh, it's a quarter scale replica arcade machine. Collector's quality one quarter scale replica of the original 1980 Pac-Man machine. High quality arcade stick and push buttons for durability and precision. 100% accurate emulation running on the original arcade ROM. That's amazing. Five inch TFT screen with four, uh, four to three ratio, full color, replica wooden shell and shape, reverse air vents with wire mesh to vent. That's pretty cool. Uh, high quality embedded decals showing iconic artwork, exact color scheme and detail, exact replica color scheme and detail, three watt built-in speaker with volume control, on and off rocker switch, built-in rechargeable lithium ion battery for uh, portable use. Cool. So you plug it in and charge it and you'll get uh, a couple hours playtime most likely. LED backlit banner, micro USB powered for convenience of use, comes complete with micro USB cable. Also comes with a bonus limited edition um, mm -hmm. Pac-Man coin. Oh, cool. So let's go ahead and pop this guy open. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Certificate of authenticity. All right, so it comes with a certificate of authenticity. This is um, number 1833 of 10,000. Uh, I should mention actually that this is a officially licensed Bandai Namco Entertainment product. So we're officially numbskulls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first thing we see right at the top here is the collectible Pac-Man um, quarter. Really cool kind of co commemorative. Yeah quarter in a really nice package yeah, cool. so let's go ahead and open that guy up yeah. I think I'll kind of display this guy um, beside yeah that's pretty cool it's, oh it's got it's got a, it's got the numb skull on the back oh that's those are cool it's auto focus I don't know well, that's pretty cool yeah just kind of a cool thing to display yeah. beside the unit yeah on your shelf all right you ready for the reveal? Yes. Here we go. I'm, I'm going to raise it up and then you set the box aside, okay? Okay. okay. Da, 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 da. Hold the box, hold the box. Dun, 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 all right, so here she is. Wow. Oh, cool. okay. Look at the colors. <laughs> this thing is bright and oh, beautiful. Joystick. It's not big. Yeah, authentic joystick. Ooh, it's clicky. Oh, Feel oh, it. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, cool. I love that. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Yeah. I love that sound. Okay, so first impression, the build quality is top-notch um, actual wooden panels on here 
Uh, this really is a gorgeous, gorgeous unit. You can see they've even got like the vents on the back even have grills inside, oh, like cool. extremely oh, detailed. Cool, cool. Um, we've got the oh, quarter nice. slots there. I like the colors. Yeah, it's beautiful. Very nice. Really well done. Uh, these guys are a really nice piece to put on the shelf. I almost think of these um, uh, like replica arcade units, mini arcade units, as a statue that you can also play. Yeah. So for me, this is something I'll display on my shelf, and then if I actually want to play it, I take it down, put it on the table, the boys and me, yeah. and you can play yeah. it. Yeah. So you really kind of get dual purpose out yeah. of these guys. It's a That's really nice display cool. piece that you can actually use. Yeah. So. Um, it's meant to go on a table, I think. It's like put it on the table. Yeah, well, well, yeah, or you could just yeah. put it on the ground. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and stand yeah. up over yeah. top of it or, okay, and play it like yeah. that, right? Yeah, 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 we can. Could you really? I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Could you really put it on the ground and, I don't know, and play it like this? <laughs> Maybe. Could you play it? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Uh -huh. All right, so here is the unit unboxed. Here's a closer look at the artwork. Beautiful, beautiful job on the uh, marquee. We're going to plug this in and see how that looks when it's lit up. Here's the panel. Peel this off here. Pull that and as you can see, here's the stick. Yeah. Nice and clicky. You, use, you can use batteries for it? It's got oh. a built-in lithium-ion oh. battery. Oh, okay. So you just charge it. Yeah. Okay. And you can play it on the go. You put this guy in your pocket, oh. bring it on a... Bring it on a road trip. Your cargo pants. Yeah. Because it, you just have to just put it in there. Here's the uh, <laughs> coin mechanism, which is, oh. I think, just for show. I don't think you yeah. could use actual coins, but yeah. we'll That'd see when we turn this guy on. All right, let's take a closer look at the back here. So here you can see the uh, Bandai Namco stamp here. Um, here are the vent grills, really detailed. Uh, this looks like the power input, so maybe not. I don't know what that is. That's just a screw to take off. Okay, here's two screws to take off the back panel. There's two screws here to take off the back panel if you need to. Power switch, uh, USB input, and volume rocker here. So we're going to plug this unit in, charge it up a little bit, play with it, and then we'll be back with our impressions on this little arcade unit. All right, so we've charged this guy up a little bit. I'm going to flip on the switch at the back. And let's see what happens. Ooh, marquee oh, look, lit look. up. Oh, Screen is lit. Oh, look at that. It does the actual arcade board oh, like initialize oh, thing. Oh, That's oh. cool. Oh. Okay, let's see. Can we put it? What happens if we push this? <gasps> oh, that's satisfying. Nice. We'll give Matt four one. credits. Let's yeah. see. Push player one. Let's see what happens. Oh my. See how far I can beat it. That you speaker is awesome. Yeah. I like the joystick, it's really good. Wow, that sounds great too. I'm really impressed with the sound. So what level are you on? What board are you uh, on? The, I'm not, I, I mean, the first I made is the third board. Okay. So past intermission. All right, Matt's got Pac-Man fever. Yeah, Pac-Man fever. <laughs> He's deep in a concentration here. <laughs> there you go. You're doing a waka waka waka. And we're back. So Matt and I have been putting this thing through its paces. We put, we just played it for about an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah. Um, Matt got pretty intensely into this yeah. game. Matt set the high score as of right now. Yeah, yeah. But uh, once we're done this video, I'll be sure to uh, to beat that score. But uh, so where do we want to start? Let's start with the the look of the, the cabinet and the build quality. Yeah. I was really impressed. Um, like I said, it's actual wood paneling with um, vinyl graphics gorgeous colors on this thing really well built sturdy 
Um, yeah. The uh, arcade stick is, is pretty accurate. It's got yeah, like, like a it, clicky yeah. stick. You yeah, can like either, it. it's big enough that you can like pinch the yeah. stick. Yeah. Or you can try it with like finger on top yeah. style. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I started with like my, just my finger on the top, but then I actually turned to like actually grabbing the yeah. stick and I found that yeah. worked better. I find if you grab like a little bit, like hold on to it on the side, it's a lot easier to yeah. hold You it. found it wobbly? No, I because I, I didn't. I thought it was actually pretty sturdy. That's one oh, thing yeah, that I noticed yeah. that when I was like heavy yeah, into it, it, yeah. it actually stayed upright. But I did notice you yeah. had your hand kind of bracing yeah, it. When I was when I was getting into deep into the gameplay, then I was like holding on to yeah. it. Yeah, that was one thing I was going to mention because yeah. I didn't feel like I needed to. I felt like yeah. I felt like it was pretty sturdy. Yeah. The buttons, we uh, you're, you're just using, you're just playing Pac Man, so you're not actually using the buttons during gameplay. Yeah. But they have like a nice tactile feel to them. Like when you insert the quarter, I'll show you guys yeah. here. Really satisfying. Yeah, yeah, uh, the speaker on this is fantastic. Yeah, it. it sounds great. You can really crank it up super loud. Um, really impressed with that as well. Uh, the screen looked good. That's uh, yeah. I think five inch TFT display. I think is what I said yeah. earlier in the uh, four by three ratio. So arcade accurate. I really thought it was cool how when you boot it up, it does like the uh, initialize screen that, yeah. it, that it would actually do when you boot the arcade cool. machine. Um, and that's because it's running the actual. Yeah. Um, arcade ROM, the yeah. original from 1980. So I've actually got farthest I've ever got in Pac-Man on this machine. Really? Yeah. That's cool. I, yeah, I never made... yeah, so yeah. that's a bit of a testament to yeah. like, this is a cool shelf display piece, yeah. but it's actually playable and playable to the point where um, it's not like, it's it's not a hindrance playing something yeah. this small. Yeah, something... You can actually get in and, and, and set some high scores and play it pretty well. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was really impressed with. I've reviewed um, other units that were slightly smaller than this. And um, I think this size is perfect. The one quarter scale, I yeah. think is, is perfect. Yeah. A, a fifth scale unit's a little bit too small um, for playability at least. Yeah. Uh, I think this is kind of the sweet spot. So yeah. yeah, all in all, super impressed with the numbscale quarter arcade, one quarter scale Pac-Man unit. Yeah. We're officially numbskulls. We're officially numbskulls. <laughs> Didn't we already make that joke? Oh, so, yeah, sorry, sorry. I think we already made that joke. So, <laughs> so if you are interested in these arcade machines, check out the link in the description below. As Matt <laughs> said, there are three more units coming later in 2019, which are? Miss Pac-Man, Galaga, and Galaxian. So yeah, stay tuned for those coming soon. You can pre-order these now. They'll be available. They'll be shipping in February 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. You can find... Matt's channel, there'll be a link for his channel in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. Until the next episode. Goodbye.